Welcome to the Bonerps and Butter Show, Halloween edition. I'm the stoner wifey, and this is Penny, and we're from the dead. Today, we've got our pumpkin chocolate cheesecake. We're making it sweet and spooky. First step is starting with our crust. I've got my 24 Oreos ready to be smashed up in a Ziploc bag, and we're gonna melt six tablespoons of butter. Starting with our base, I've got 24 Oreos here, full Oreos, and we've got six tablespoons, about a cup of butter that we're gonna melt in the oven. Preheat your oven now to 350. We're gonna melt the butter. We've got our 24 whole Oreos here that we're gonna smash up for our base. Using a rolling pin is probably easiest. We are going to break down these Oreos for our base. They're whole Oreos, remember, so the icing is gonna show, but it's all right. Just really break it down into a breaded crust for our base. So that's what you should have there. That should be broken up as best as I can for our base. So we're gonna take this over to our nine inch spring pan. This is our spring pan here. We're gonna grease our pan with cooking spray. We're gonna get this base started. Almost lost it. Got my Oreos here crushed up best I can. We're gonna add this into a small bowl with our melted butter and just get it mixed around and mixed in. Oh, it looks good. Adding our butter. Just mix that around with a spoon. <laughs> that's all mixed together well. We're going to take our spring form pan. This is a nine inch, and we're gonna spray it with cooking spray and then add this as our base. Just like that, not too much, but enough that you've covered all the edges. Taking our mixture, our base, just evenly. Oh, it looks good. You want a nice even base, so let's really Spread these Oreos out and using our hands, we are going to press it down. So really, because we want a nice even layer. So let's really pack this down tightly. Because we're using a spring form pan today, they have the clips, right? So in order to see this beautiful mixture and hold this mixture together, we're gonna need that. We want it packed down tight and firmly as we can for a nice base. Moving over to our large bowl here, I've added three blocks of Philadelphia cream cheese. We're gonna use a hand mixer, or if you have a stand mixer, mixing and getting that cream cheese ready to go. This is room temperature as well. It makes it a lot easier. So let's just get this cream cheese rolling. Make sure you got your fork on duty, just in case it gets a little clumpy. Starting with our pumpkin puree, one can, all in. Four large eggs. Our sugars, half a cup of packed brown sugar, third of a cup of sugar, quarter cup of sour cream, two tablespoons of vanilla, two tablespoons of flour, one teaspoon of pumpkin spice, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now, taking our mixer and mixing it all together. It's very rich, so we're gonna really work with it. We're gonna mix this until smooth. It's gonna take a bit, we're gonna take a little bit to get this all mixed. Starting to smell good. Butter buds, make sure your oven's at 350. We're ready to go. I'm gonna add this mixture to my base and we're gonna bake it for an hour and 15 minutes. Another thing to note, as I put this in the oven, make sure your oven rack is on the middle, medium section of your oven, right in the middle. Right in the middle there. 
hour and 15 minutes. Let's smoke a bong. It's Halloween. That's our timer going off. So that was an hour and 15 minutes. Let's check on this cheesecake. It is looking great. Now, you notice it's on a baking sheet. The oil drips sometimes in a springform pan, so if that does happen, it can catch fire, so you've gotta be careful. I put it on a baking sheet midway through because we almost had that problem. That looks great. Now we've gotta let it cool for about a half an hour to an hour, even longer. If you want it for the next day, it's perfect to just put in the fridge right now and save it. But we don't have that time and I'd like to eat this, so I'm gonna let it cool down for about a half an hour to an hour, and then we're gonna dress it. I brought this pie in from outside, chilly fall day, so we're gonna take a look at it now and then we're gonna dress it. Open up our springform pan here. Give it a little wiggle. Voila. So, these are all optional toppings. You can use whatever. You could use caramel sauce. I'm gonna use some Nesquik today. I was gonna melt some chocolate chips, but decided we're not gonna do that. So, what I would do is I would just some chocolate chips. Very sweet and rich, this cake. You're gonna like it. Don't think I'm gonna use a lot of this, but when I do cakes, I always dress them differently every time. I don't stick to the same. So why not change it up? And that, Butter Buds, is my chocolate pumpkin cheesecake. Let's take a bite. Very nice. Still hot. And I rested that for over 30 minutes. I've got our slice right here. You can also add vanilla ice cream. It goes great with this cheesecake. Enjoy. Happy Halloween, Butter Buds. Stay safe out there tonight trick-or-treating and definitely have a bunch of candy that you deserve. And make sure, if you're not already, subscribe to our channel right down in the corner there and follow us on Instagram, and go check out our website. We've got some cozy merch this fall and winter.